The mission of Harvard Business School is to educate leaders who make a difference in the world. Who could disagree with that mission? Problem is, the mission is the same as the mission of every other school. So what will make our mission distinctive is the meaning that we put into those words, not the words themselves, but the meaning that we put into those words. So what is the meaning that we should put into these words that say to educate leaders who make a difference in the world? What kinds of leaders? When we say we educate leaders, what kinds of leaders do we, are we talking about? Are we talking about leaders who declare themselves to be leaders? Or are we talking about leaders that others call leaders? If we're interested in educating leaders that others declare to be leaders, we have to recognize that people only call someone a leader if they feel confident about their competence and character. Right? You call someone a leader because you believe that they're able to do something well, that they, they have a certain kind of competence, that when you give them a problem, they'll in fact come up with a better solution to the problem. People have to have confidence in the competence of the students we educate. And if they have confidence in the competence of the students that we educate, that they make good judgments, that they, know the, that they know business practice, that they come out of here as they have always done for so many years, uh, with a certain capacity to understand a whole organization, to bring a general management perspective to issues, that they understand the risks and the opportunities that exist in the world, that they embody a deep set of competencies, which are competencies that were developed through their education at Harvard Business School. So we must always stand for an institution that cultivates the competence of our leaders. Equally, we must be an institution where people believe that the, people who, the leaders we graduate are core leaders because they embody a certain character. They have a character that would cause someone to say, if I had my last dollar to invest, this is the, this is the hedge fund or this is the private equity firm to which I'm going to give my money. If I had to give venture capital, this is the entrepreneur who graduated from Harvard Business School, they have the character of the person whom I want to give money. If I wanted to work for someone, if there was a leader that I wanted to follow, I'm going to follow this leader because they graduated from Harvard Business School, because I can trust them to have a certain kind of character. What is that character? What constitutes the character that we want in our students? It's not just that they are ethical in the sense that they don't lie, cheat, or steal. Everybody knows that. I mean, that's, that's not enough. That's like getting to first base. What people are looking for in terms of the character of the leaders that we have are people who believe that it is important to create value before you claim value. Because when you lose trust is when people think your character is so self-centered that you claim value before you create value. If we're being honest, in the last several years, some people have worried about that about the leaders that we put out in the world. Right? So reclaiming that, reclaiming and rec remembering that everything that we do at the Harvard Business School must be about educating leaders who have the competence and character that the world will think of them as leaders is an important part that must guide all of the work that we do. When we talk about making a difference, as one colleague said to me uh, in my various conversations, let's at least say make a positive difference. Right? Because all too often, uh, sometimes people worry that we have leaders who've gone out and made a negative difference in the world. Right? Uh, there are many, many ways to make a positive difference in the world. Right? As an investor, as a manager, as a leader, as an entrepreneur, by creating social enterprises. So there is no end to the ways in which one can make a positive difference in the world. But in every case, I think, again, you have to start with this basic belief that I have. That if you create value, if you solve some problem for society, it could be as prosaic as delivering a product more cheaply, you're making a difference. And if you make a difference that way, society will never begrudge you to keep some of the value that you create. But we have to, in fact, recognize that our students understand that when they go out in the world, they have to make a positive difference. They have to be seen as people who are creating value in society. And finally, the last part of our mission statement says to educate leaders who make a difference in the world. What is our vision of the world? Is it one or two sectors where all of the money seems to be today? Or is it the world more broadly? Should we be educating people to go where the puck's going or where the puck is at today? 
I think we have to open up the imagination of our students to thinking about the world much more broadly, to recognize uh, that leadership is leader today in all parts of the world, that there is a desperate and urgent need for the kinds of leaders that only Harvard Business School can educate. And I hope that that's what we will do as we pursue these five initiatives in the school, that we will never forget that we are doing this work so that we can truly live up to the mission of this school, which is to educate leaders who make a difference in the world, leaders like you, leaders like the people in this room, our alumni, whom I have gone out and have been so impressed by how much they do in all walks of life to truly make a difference in the world.